This video will demonstrate the installation process of Soli's 80 to 125K 5G string inverter series. Attention! Electrical equipment can only be installed and maintained by qualified electrical technicians. Please, read the user manual before installation and check whether the accessories in the box are complete. More than 500 mm space shall be reserved around the inverter. After determining the installation position of the mounting bracket, use the fixing bolts included in the box to fix the mounting bracket to the mounting frame. Use a 17 mm socket to tighten the nut with torque of 30 to 35 Nm. Align the hook on the back of the inverter with the hole on the top of the back plate. Screw the fixing screws included in the package into the inverter fixing holes at the bottom. There are holes on both sides of the base for fixing screws. Cable connection. The inverter is designed with body grounding and AC grounding at the same time. To ensure safety, be sure to use two grounding methods at the same time. DC side connection. Please use a multimeter to measure the PV voltage of the DC input. Distinguish the positive and negative poles. Ensure the DC voltage is within the allowable range marked on the nameplate of the inverter. Please refer to Soli's demonstration video for making of DC connection cable. When connecting DC cables, they should be connected in order according to the serial number marked on the body. AC side connection. Before connecting the AC cable, loosen the screws on the side of the AC junction box. Open the AC junction box. Rotate to take off the AC cover lid. Push out the seal rubber ring. Cut through the thin rubber membrane on the seal. Rubber ring in order to pass through the cable. The AC cable can be used after crimping the OT terminal. Pass the AC cables through both the seal rubber ring and the cover lid. Pass the AC cables through via the hole in the bottom of the inverter into the wiring box. Connect three phase AC cables to three AC terminals on the left side. Connect the neutral cable to the terminal marked by N. Connect P cable to PE terminal. Tighten the corresponding screw to fasten the cable. Use socket wrench to tighten the nut. With torque of 20 to 30 Nm. Rotate to tighten the cover lid at the bottom and use fireproof mud for further seal. Close the junction box and tighten the screws on the junction box. Communication connection. If you choose Jin Long Soli's data logger, please connect it to the Kong 1 port on the bottom of the inverter. You can also choose PLC method or RS485 daisy chain to configure the monitoring system. For RS485 communication connection, the communication wire needs to be passed through Kong 2 to Kong 5 into wiring box. Open the wiring box. Then remove the connecting terminal block from the communication board in the wiring box. Insert communication wire into the connecting terminal block and tighten the screw. Put the connection terminal block back into the communication board. Then close the wiring box. Cable connection finishes. Power on debugging. Please, visually check first to make sure all cables are connected properly. Close the AC circuit breaker first. Then, close the DC switch. If the DC input voltage is greater than the startup voltage of the inverter, the inverter will start up. After the self-check is complete, the screen will show waiting. After the local mandatory delay ends, the inverter will start normal operation. After watching this video, please refer to the product manual for full installation instructions.